Today is the finale for my powder project pan, which I am thrilled about. This is definitely my favorite project pan that I'm doing, even though it is the most challenging. If you are new, I hope you'll subscribe. I've been doing project panning for many, many years. And this is a project that I've done for a few years where I pick all powder makeup products and work on them all year long and try to finish as many as possible. Powder products are very, very hard to finish but I actually do have a few empties and some pans. So I'm very excited about that. It is Geekness daily videos in December. Stay tuned because in the new year, I'll be introducing new project pan intros. And then also the last video Geekness will be my year long makeup empties, which I'm very excited to share with you. And let's get started. Okay, let's start with the newest empty, and that is technically I finished this highlighter from, this was from an Anastasia Glow Kit. This was in the shade Summer, and yeah, if you had those Glow Kits, they have four pans and they're magnetic, so I removed one out, and I did finish this completely. What I had done, I repressed it into this container with a little bit of the highlighter from the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. So it was in here, but now this is all empty. This was an old container from a number seven powder. I like to keep old compacts around for repressing. I love to make my own highlighters. That's something I've done a lot of this year where I just mix a few different highlighters together, press them into the pan with some rubbing alcohol. I have videos on that and YouTube shorts on how I do that. It's very, very easy. And so yes, this is complete. This was just the package that I used for it though, but I did completely finish this highlighter from the Glow Kit, which is awesome. It's very, very pretty. I still do have one of the Glow Kits. Okay, another new empty is this. This is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Powder. This is really, really good. I loved this powder. It's only like four or five dollars. The packaging did break on this, so I had ended up repressing this also into another container and finishing it up that way, but it is all gone. This may be one of the best powders I've ever tried because it actually works on my under eyes where a lot of powders don't and my concealer creases but this, I mean, this is better than expensive powders that I've tried. Like I talked about the Dior No Powder and how much I dislike that. That was in this project. And there were a couple other items that were in this project that I just gave up on at some point during the year. So one of them was the Dior Powder No Powder. I still have it, but I stopped working on it. And then the other one, um, the Kylie Cosmetics Blush in We're Going Shopping. I like that blush, I do, and I still have it in my collection. I just kind of got sick of trying to pan it. Now let me show you the blush that I did work on all year and all of last year, and I still have not hit the tile. It is the Hourglass Blush in Brilliant Nude. You know what, I guess it's good that this lasts forever on a day because it was a very expensive blush. I think these Hourglass blushes are like $48, $45, something like that. As you can see though, it is very, very flat. I do feel like hopefully one day I will hit the tile. This is a really nice neutral blush. It goes with any eye look. And I like to layer this on top of different cream blushes. And I really like it and I like the formula. So really I don't mind that I used it all year because it's pretty and I like the product. It's just kind of crazy that this was in my project pan last year and this year and I still have not hit the pan. Wow, amazing. But hey, getting my money's worth. So that is okay. Um, okay, I do have more empties. I have more empties. This is a product that, not an empty though. Um, this is the Lancome Absolute Powder and Absolute Pesh. I did get some decent progress on this, um, but since the last update, I don't have a new mark. This one I did mix in with other highlighters when I was doing the whole repressing, creating my own highlighters thing. I like that. Um, that may be something that I do want to work on in a future project. All right, I finished another highlighter. This was Becca in Prosecco Pop. I finished every last drop of this highlighter, you guys. I love the Becca formula. I am wearing Becca Champagne Pop today. I think I'm going to say Becca highlighters are my favorite formula. I like how finely milled they are and no glitter, no sparkle, and it's flattering. And I worked on this for years. I mean, I hit pan on this, I think two years ago, and I finished it this year. I did end up repressing this with some of the Lancome powder and I think another highlighter at one point, I don't even remember, because it was a bit too yellow gold for my liking. 
And so I kind of changed the color up and it was great. So yeah, I finished a full size Becca highlighter. I, I'm pretty impressed with myself on that one, I have to say. Um, okay, so I have two more empties and then three items which I did make progress on. First up is the Butter Bronzer. And I did hit pan on this, which is awesome. Obviously, I have a lot left, but I'm pretty excited to have pan and I have expanded the pan a decent amount in there. This is actually a really nice bronzer. I really, really like it. I mean, would I go out and buy this now? No, but I have it and I enjoy it, so why not? But I think I wanna focus on some other powder bronzers in future projects, give this one a break, but how awesome that I have pan on that. I am pretty excited. Okay, also I worked on the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, and I have pan on both sides of this. As you can see, it looks like a chunk was taken out and that's because it was, that was, I used some of it to mix in with that other highlighter that I mentioned. And I really like both sides of this. I've really expanded the pan on the bronzer side, which is pretty awesome. So this is a product I've had for a really long time. I've had this in my collection for like five years and I still really like it and it works well. I like the highlighter and the bronzer side. So definitely want to still continue to use this. This was a very expensive item. So I am happy to be getting my money's worth. Probably want to take a break from it, I think. But will this show up in another project at some point? Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. But I'm pretty thrilled with that. All right. And then for finishing powder, which is a step I like to do every day to blend my bronzer, blush, and highlighter together. Um, so for that this year, I've been working on this. I've used this pretty much every day this year. And I haven't finished it. This is the Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil bronzer. But way too light for me to be a bronzer. And so I've been using it as finishing powder because it does have a slight sheen, but there's no chunks or glitters. It's really pretty, perfect for finishing powder. So this product, I bought this at the beginning of the year and it fell out of the pan the day I bought it, which definitely frustrated me, but it was just like, it fell into the cap like this. So I was able to save it and I repressed it. As you can see, that's why it looks irregular. So I still haven't repressed it from when I did that at the beginning of this year. And that's how much I have left, which is a decent amount considering I use this every single day. Obviously I have it pan on it, but yeah, kind of ridiculous. This has lasted all year and I use it every day, but it's a great product, only like $5. It's very, very good. Okay. And then this I finished much earlier this year. I finished this Makeup Forever Star Lip Powder in shade 13. And this was a highlighter. It's very intense and very pretty, but loose highlighter is a pain. So I did press this into a compact like I did with the other highlighters and I mixed it in with some other highlighters as well. Honestly, this is so pretty. I kind of want to repurchase this. I don't feel like any of my highlighters look how this looked. It was just so intense, but still flattering. It didn't look overly sparkly. I don't know. There's just something really nice about this. Um, maybe after my low buy, I might actually purchase this. Yeah, I might put that on my list. I think I'm going to take a break from my low buy in January. So maybe I might purchase that then. We shall see. All right, and then last stop, I finished the Beauty Bakery Powder. This is the Flower Powder, and I love this. This is such a good powder. I had the shade Oat Translucent, and I used up every last drop of this. The sifter came out very, very easily. It was very simple. Um, but yeah, this was a great powder. So pretty excited that I finished that up. So... I gotta say, I feel like I did pretty well. Let me let me grab all the empties. Okay, so I have five empties in this project, which is pretty good. I finished the Becca Prosecco Pop, the Makeup Forever Loose Highlighter, the Beauty Bakery Powder, this Anastasia Highlighter, and the Wet n Wild Powder. Pretty good! And I did hit pan and expand pans on the other items. So I'm actually really, really thrilled with this progress. I have to say, um, powder products, they take a long time to finish up, you guys. They really, really do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you've been watching Geekness. If not, check out the Geekness playlist, daily videos in December. 
Thank you guys so much for being here. Let us know what project pans you are planning for the new year. Cause like I said, I am definitely planning some new project pans. I'm probably going to take a break from panning though for like a week or two and just use whatever makeup I want. Um, but I am looking forward to that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and have a great day.